everyone, it's Kwaku from Gridip, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Logo Grid Generator version 2. So as you can see, we have Logo Grid Generator on the right. We have anchors, handles, outlines, and grid lines. Everything looks the same. The difference that you see is probably the customized section. So we have an all new customized tab. So when you click this, you now have control and more freedom for many different parts of your logo grid. So for anchors and handles, you can see we have the ability to change the size, the fill, the stroke, and the weight. For outlines, we have the same, um, but of course we don't have the size to change the outlines because the outlines is the logo. And the same for grid lines, you can see it's um, been reduced further, so just stroke and, and weight. So let's make a grid. So we're just gonna do generate all. And when you generate, we have the clean default settings of the grid. Prior to this, um, there were some users um, having the issue of anchors being too big or too small. And um, that was down to the way um, our algorithms were. But now we've changed that to give you more um, creative freedom, making the default size 10. But if that, for some reason, tends to be big, um, too big or too small, depending on your artboard, you can always just reduce the size. So starting off with... Um, anchor sizes we can just simply for this example let me just reduce it to about six and when i do apply you can see all the anchors change so you want to enter the number and then you want to do apply the same with fill um you can just choose the color if we do um let's do a black fill and we can do a white stroke then we can just do apply and you can see all the anchors change now we have the swap button. So the swap button works the same way as this swap fill and stroke button. So what we're going to do, we can just click it and the fill and stroke um, just switch. And then we can just do apply and you can see it is now inverted. So we have a black stroke and a white fill um, instead of a white stroke and a black fill. And then let's do the same with handles. So we have white already selected. We can do color picker. Let's make that black and let's do the size six as well matching the anchors and then you can see it's gotten smaller i would actually make everything slightly bigger um actually i would prefer it to be smaller just because there's a lot of anchors when it comes to the center of the d i don't want them to to touch but that's fine so let's just do apply and apply not too much of an issue or we can even just hide the handles um in this case, but for this example, I'm just gonna keep them. And again, we have outline. So outlines, we can just increase the stroke. I like to have um, the stroke of the outline um, the same, the weight of the outline the same as the anchors and handles. Then we can just do apply. You see it's gotten thicker. And grid lines, this is like the best setting I found, especially when working on white, uh, 0 0.5 weight with this um, default color. You don't want it to be black because if it is black, it kind of, there's not enough contrast with the logo and it starts to look messy. So if anything, you even could make it lighter than the default. So something closer to white and then you can see how it really pops, how it really pops out. So say you have this grid um, and you want to restart everything. You can simply just click the re restart button. And not only does the restart button restart or restart, um, the selections of the anchors, handles, outlines, grid lines, but it also restarts um, everything, every input back to the default settings. So if we just do that, and then we can just do apply, 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 and then you have your grid back to default. And of course, if you wanna just undo your grid, you can just do control Z until you have um, what you had at the beginning. So you can also customize the grid before generating. So for example, if we was to just do, I don't know, 13, we was to make it um, red, and then we can have like a, a green outline. I wouldn't recommend this way, just because you wanna have live updates, you wanna create the grid, and then you can see what components you wanna keep and what components you wanna remove. But this is something that um, you, you can do. Then you can just do this and then let's just generate. And of course it generates it instantly 
rather than having to wait. But now you can see, so obviously this looks horrible. I wouldn't do that. But um, yeah, you can just put everything back, um, everything to a more professional um, looking grid. You can just do apply, apply. So you have something like this. So yeah, and then you can always just close it or leave it open if you like. I also like to um, keep my grid at form docked. So sometimes it goes squash when you do that. So you just have to dock it. Um, I, I like to keep it there. And then sometimes I would um, put my um, properties and other stuff um, next to it. I'm using quite a large monitor, so um, I'm able to, to do this. Um, but yeah, so that's how you use Logo Grid Generator version 2. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. Or if you're having any issues, please contact support at gridit.io.